everything that I bought to decorate my room with this time is from Taobao just because I think it's relatively cheaper as compared to getting it from Shopee and also there are a lot more options on Taobao so yeah I bought this really cute bed sheet and I think it's gonna make a big difference to my room so I'm really excited to be receiving it Today is 19th of May We'll see how long it's gonna take for it to be delivered here I'll see you guys again when I receive them in the mail Some of the stuff here are not exactly for my room because I did buy some clothes and accessories as well. Ooh, I bought a silver ring. I'm still using the same fabric scissors for everything. <gasps> this is a mold for fried eggs. I eat eggs almost every single day so this is gonna spice things up for me. This is a flower shaped candle holder but I'm not going to use it for candles I'm just going to use it to store my rings and yeah to keep my jewelry I'm going to save the big ones for last I got another silver ring and this is a really cool one It's adjustable You can make it really small like a charm or you can make it really big Cute! It matches with my necklace A little glass blue spoon for my dessert. Super cute. I'm not supposed to buy clothes because all I do is just stay at home anyway, but I did buy a few pieces this round. I got this oversized white t-shirt. I love the print in the back. It says, we accept the love we think we deserve. I also bought a green dress. I really love the puff sleeve design and it also has this scrunching detailing in the back, which is going to be really flattering. Should be a mug. Mm. I hate folly string. Wow. Oh, I thought it's supposed to be glass, but. The material is not exactly glass, which I think is better because it's gonna be a lot more harder to break. So I'm gonna use this to store all of my scrunchies and stuff like that. Super cute. That's your shy. I bought a blob looking pop socket. I've been really liking things like this recently. The shape of it looks exactly like the new pot that I bought from Shopee recently. I'm really happy that all of the stuff came in one piece. Nothing is broken. It's so hard to open it. color for my dog so when he's wearing it he's gonna look like a little flower 
He recently had infection around his chin area so he has been scratching it really badly and he has been wearing this plastic one which is really uncomfortable so I bought this really squishy one for him and I think this is going to be a lot more breathable than the plastic one. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I've bought a set of pajamas and it's in this really cute like blue tie-dye print it just reminds me of the sky and it comes with a pair of shorts instead of long pants I got a beige ripped crop top where you're able to cinch in both sides and I got this in a size large because I didn't want it to be too tight on me so I think this is a perfect size I bought a sphere eye cute maker which is pretty random as I mentioned I've been really liking things that are clear and round so I got that I just woke up from a two hours nap and my eyes are so puffy but I'm gonna change out my bed sheet now because I just washed them yesterday and they're now clean and dry I've had this for about one year and it just doesn't really do anything in my room so I have so much space to work with now I've had this mirror for about 3-4 to four years now and I think it's time to upcycle it to make it into something cuter I'm gonna try to turn it into that Pinterest famous mirror with like the bubble border I don't know what it's called So yeah, I'm excited for this DIY project almost 12 hours now and I've brought my mirror back into my room it looks really cute on screen but for some reason it feels really oily to touch I don't even know if that's normal I thought it's gonna be like a polystyrene texture whenever it's dried so for some parts it's still fine especially this part it feels really dried but this part just feels really oily to touch can you see Ooh. And because of that, I cannot decide whether if it's cute or if it's tacky because it just doesn't feel really that safe to be put into my bedroom like right in front of my bed, so it does look really nice on screen
I bought a Hello Kitty watering can and it's so cute. This is supposed to be a kid's toy or a watering can for kids, but it's just so cute. <laughs> I was halfway editing a video and my shelf came so I'm gonna ditch my work and start building this because I'm really excited about it. It doesn't come with any instruction. <laughs> this looks a little overwhelming but we'll be fine. I'll be fine. I can do this. They are now all nice and clean and I'm gonna start building it. And also, I was wrong, it does come with an instruction. So this is gonna make my life so much easier. <laughs> The steps are pretty easy to follow. I just have to screw this into every single small holes that the board has. So yeah. this really flimsy board for the back of the shelf but I decided not to add it because I don't know I feel like it looks better like this this curvy design is what drew me to this shelf just adds a little something to this really simple bookshelf but yeah I really like it I think it goes really well with my room the color of this board is not exactly pure white too so I'm just gonna keep this for a future DIY project and the whole building process was really fun, but my hand hurts so much. I'm finally done crocheting this thing that I showed you guys in my previous vlog. Some of you actually guessed it correctly. And yes, it's a balloon dog. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. Of course, it's not gonna stain just by twisting it like balloon. I will have to hand sew it all together and... Yay! They're not smaller than I expected, but it's okay. It's still really cute. I have a few spots on this wall that I want to cover up, but I don't have white paint. So I'm just gonna use acrylic paint instead. I hope it works. I don't know. It looks kind of patchy, but it's okay. At least you won't be able to see the bald spot now, except for this one, but I'm just gonna ignore that. Who is this fluffy boy? <laughs> I 
I just received this in the mail today and I was too excited so I just went ahead and unboxed it without even filming it but Ta -da! it's so portable and cute Ta -da! it's so portable and cute yeah, your This was kindly sent to me as a gift by the Lumos team and I really love it. Thank you so much. I have been wanting a projector in my room ever since the lockdown started which is also part of the reason why I have my bed facing the side of the wall just so that I can have like a blank wall to have my movies to be projected on. So super excited about this. This is the Lumos Ray, it's the smaller version that they have. I was contemplating between this and the bigger one but I figured this would suit my room more because my room is pretty small and the size of this wall is not really that big so I thought this would be perfect for my room. I'm gonna go set it up now. The one that I have is the smart version so it's able to connect to Wi-Fi and it also has built-in YouTube and Netflix to it. One thing I really like about it is that it has built-in speakers so if I want to take it out with me or just bring it to my living room, I don't have to bring an external Bluetooth speaker. It's really portable and the sound quality of the speaker is really nice as well. So I highly recommend you guys to check out Lumos if you are interested in getting a projector for your room. This is one of my favorite vlogs. I miss my friends, I miss going out. I brought myself some great food as snacks for my movie night. <laughs> got the allergy test and I'm allergic to cats. Um, I'm highly allergic to cats actually. And so I studied abroad in 2013, summer of 2013 and then I pull this and put here. Hi guys, so it's been almost two days since the last clip I filmed and these are the trays that I made. I think they are now dry. The first time I made clay trays, they were kind of a fail so I decided to give it another go and uh, I'm not sure if they are completely dry because they are kind of sticking to this um, little table that I have. But these are the ones that I made. I still need to paint these too. And this is supposed to be a little duckling in a swimming pool. <laughs> I don't know how should I take it off the table because they are kind of sticking to it. black paint just stained my nails and I can't get it off <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like I'm not sure how I feel about it yet I'm just gonna leave it here to dry for another two days just to see if it will be easier to um, remove it from this surface
I got the triple cheese corn dog from Family Mart to try. Mm. There's so much cheese inside. This is literally just bread and cheese. I was expecting there to be a sausage in the middle, like a real corn dog, but... Yeah, there's no sausage inside. Mm. This is where I do my skincare and makeup. I don't really own that many beauty products so they all fit just nice in this organizer that I got from Shopee. 